हेलो सुभाषनी नो आई एम नॉट जस्ट सुभाषनी आई एम सी ए सुभाषनी फ्रॉम नाउ यू पास यस आई हैव बिकम द प्राउड मेंबर ऑफ सी ए फ्रेटर्निटी हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम सी ए मीना वर्मा एंड टुडे वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विद अस सी ए सुभाषनी गिरधर मैम she is a fellow chartered accountant and she is a famous bharatnatyam dancer so let us ask her few questions regarding uh, how she carry her uh, passion toward dance and uh, the career of uh, as a chartered accountant hello ma'am hello hello meena welcome uh, to my channel thank you <laughs> nice meeting you Ma'am, what inspired you to follow these two different passion? Like on one side you are a chartered accountant, and on the other side uh, you are following your passion toward uh, uh, this uh, classical dancer. So, what inspired you to follow two different passion together? I have been uh, learning dance since my childhood, and uh, learning dance I have uh, it has become my passion to continue Bharatanatyam. and uh, i uh, became a chartered accountant uh, along with pursuing my dance and uh, when i continued dance i felt i got lot of inner satisfaction and it gave me lot of energy and also it uh, complements and supplements my studies also like it gives me the focus which is required in uh, ca concentration good health so many benefits which i derived from bharatanatyam i could use it in my chartered accountancy and as you know being a member chartered accountancy is the most toughest exam exactly. and clearing it is very difficult yeah and i think dance has helped me in more than one way because wow. it gives me gives me the focus which is required in dance concentration which i do it in dance i good memory because i have to remember the steps for wow. two hours i have to remember the abhinaya and the steps so yeah. all these things focus memory everything i could use it in uh, reading for uh, studying ca exam and uh, that made me clear my ca exams very easily and in the same way because i was studying for ca it gave me discipline in pursuing dance and uh, and uh, i said why if it is my passion why can't i continue if it is going to give me so much of happiness why can't i continue further not only uh, only till the college or till my career starts so i i found that we can continue both dance and profession at the same time jahan chaha wahan raha that's so really get... great to know ma'am ma'am uh, oh, actually you. uh people believe that if we if a student follow something else like uh, if a student is going for uh, playing cricket or you know following some different passion it is believe that it create distraction but it is great to know that your dance helped you in your studies also yes this is 100% true even i tell my students when i teach them when you are having exams don't miss the dance class you can come to the dance like it is type of relaxation and gives you the the focus and the concentration and the at that same time it gives you that liveliness the energy which exactly. is there inside you so this i is some, get a lot of energy yeah this is something yeah. very true is the same thing i feel when i was a student when i was studying for ca exam i always took break during the studies like i go for uh, to play badminton or i play to i go to temple for uh, you know i spend my saturday sunday in scon temple uh, so this way i keep you know these activity create more focus towards studies so what i have actually i have written an article on ca and bharatanatyam in our chartered accountant main journal may 2009 okay in that also i have mentioned yeah see when i started writing this article yeah. i felt there are no parallels between uh, there is no connection between dance and ca but yeah. when i started writing i felt there are many parallels yeah. and bharatanatyam in more than one way it has helped me like yeah. mental alertness vision balance flexibility yeah. there is balancing in ca there is balancing in dance that there is calculation yes. in ca there is calculation in dance 
Very there is nice. synchronization, <laughs> which along with those orchestra people, I have to synchronize. Yeah. And the same way we have to synchronize and uh, be in the ambit of whatever taxation rules. Wow, so this is I really have, great. There is C in dance, D yeah. and C. E. There is yeah. chartered accountancy. There is dance in chartered accountancy. Wow, that's great to know, so, ma'am. I tell chartered accountant, C stands for concentration. H yeah. stands for harmonization. Yeah. A stands for alertness. Yeah. R stands for resilience. Yeah. P stands for trustworthiness. Yeah. E stands for ethics. Yeah. R stands for resolve and determination. Yeah. E stands for endurance. D stands for discipline and devotion. Yeah. With all these qualities, yeah. only you can become a chartered accountant. Because yeah. unless you have a dedication, we can't become a... Same yeah. qualities are required even to become a dancer. Uh, you have uh, told student a key, key to success. I believe that uh, a student should not uh, study continuously for 12 hours or 14 hours. Uh, they should take break and in that break, they can follow their passion. Yes. Yes, surely. Yes, as you said, it's not a distraction. You should yeah. not think I am... Uh, wasting my time by doing some like in playing or it's not only dance it can be music or any art even listening to music yeah. that is the type of relaxation and and it helps you in uh, maintaining the balance because there is the left side of our brain and right side of our brain there is yeah. a balance otherwise yeah. there'll be only imbalance yeah ma'am my next question is uh, first how you manage to balance everything like we know that you have a dance academy where you where you train kids and uh, you, we know that you are a fellow chartered accountant so obviously you have a lot of clients you have your own family so how you balance everything because for a woman it is very difficult to follow the career and uh, you know taking take care of home and uh, household so how, how you balance everything as a woman uh, see, uh, we we are women and you know, yeah. we are excellent in, very good in doing mul multitasking yeah. and I'm doing the most of it. Yeah. So when, whenever you like something, you cannot get time. You have to make time for it. And if you make time, if you love it, you will surely make time for it. So the time milta nahi hai. Banana padta hai. Then I feel what do I do for myself? Yeah. I'm doing debit credit balancing, meeting clients, and I do uh, the as a I'm a homemaker, as a role, I'm doing the role of a mother, wife, daughter, daughter-in-law, sister. All the roles I play. Um, but in addition to that, what I'm doing for myself, my inner satisfaction and happiness. Yeah. When I do dance, even when I practice dance, when I teach dance, yeah. all my tiredness, everything goes away and I get a lot of energy from doing dance. So when I uh, teach dance or I practice for my dance performance, I am able to concentrate and give more to my profession also. Like I do... Uh, work for maybe my time is flexible since I'm practicing not I'm not working for an organization I'm a partner so I, I get the flexibility of time and in a short time I'm able to do more things yeah so ma'am uh, do you believe that it is good for a woman just this is just a personal opinion like you believe that it is good for a woman to go in a corporate or uh, to have their own work like uh, to be a practicing chartered accountant or any other kind of work so what is good for a, for us um see from the the time i have qualified i have been a practicing chartered accountant i have not gone into uh, corporates because there is a fixed timing or there's no fixed time you have to work from 9 a.m till 12 in the midnight yeah. so we don't have the flexibility of time here yeah, when i am a partner i'm given a job so i have to complete it whether i am working for uh, this time to this time there is it doesn't matter so 
I have my articles. I complete the work, and I am I am so happy being a dancer and disciplined. I am able to submit all the report before the due date. I don't give excuses. Excuses yeah. are not to be given by a professional like us. Yeah, right. So every work is completed before the due date, and I tell my articles also. You have to do this properly. So when you are doing this before the due date, you don't have no things to worry about. Then you can go to the next next uh, work, next audit. Yeah. So maybe being a dancer, see, I became a dancer much before I became a CA. Yeah. And I'm thank I learned from one of the best dance schools in Bombay. I've been brought up in Bombay. After marriage, I came to Hyderabad. So being in Bombay, the the it's Bombay is a city that never sleeps. So I was made uh, given practice to do everything since morning, five a.m. till night eleven. So I used to be trained by a very good master. So he used to discipline me. You should come on time. For the dance class, so that got imbibed in me. So I used to be very conscious about time. So time management got Im imbibed in me in from the childhood, and that got reflected when I became a CA. And I'm very happy. And one important thing I like to tell: God made me a CA and a dancer because He didn't want me to depend on dance for my livelihood. Yeah. So for my bread and butter, there is CA. I can continue my dance and perform and also teach kids. And I have never made dance a commercial proposition till date. That's really Whatever great. Whatever fees I am getting from dance, I donate everything in buying books, stationery, and school bags to underprivileged school children, mostly girls. Because That's being a qualified professional, we both are women professionals and there are very few so yeah. we should uh, know we know the value of education right if we can't give something to help the society yeah. we have got so much from the society yes. so i feel i can give something i'm doing a very small part yeah. i'm doing a very fragment only but that small fragment will go and reach the the needy so i am very happy god has uh, given me this thought process the purpose of my dance is like this. I perform dance, I get happiness. Yeah. And what I get from each dance performance, I'll tell you. I would like to motivate at least one person from the audience to continue our uh, rich heritage and dance yeah. and pursue this. Yeah. Ma'am, here I want to say one thing that uh, generally uh, people consider an educated person, an intellectual person as a role model. So uh, you as a chartered accountant following your uh, passion as a classical dancer, uh, this is something uh, which helped our entire country to keep our culture alive. And it's an example for the generation that see, she is a chartered accountant, but she has her, you know, she has her passion toward her culture. So this is something very great. So what do you think about it? Mm, yes, uh, off late, when you see uh, the background of um, Indian uh, uh, culture, art, music and dance, particularly fine arts, classical dance and music, they find a very poor uh, audience. Where yeah. uh, even yes. though we get, give a, get a stage, people yeah. don't come to watch. Yeah. There is no crowd. Therefore, it is a dying art. Yeah. People say, when I learn dance, what is the use? I can pursue my career. Yeah. And anyway, I don't, I'm not going to make anything out of dance. Yeah. But I feel the time but should change when... Ma'am, but due to this perception, our culture is dying because we know that mm. in past we have so many, you know, people who have diversified the, no, uh, this uh, cultural values. But I believe that this thought process, because of this process, thought process, our culture is dying and our culture mm. is more affected by the uh, Western culture. We have the young, the coming generation, they have adopted the Western culture so much. They have adopted the way of dressing, you know, everything so much that there is an adulteration in our own culture. 
so it is very good to know that because of the people like you our culture is alive and it is also i am happy um, i have got a small dance academy sukuna nrityalaya i am happy the children who come and join the dance class out of their own wish they come and they continue dance ma'am ma'am they'll be looking forward because i make it interactive whenever yeah. i don't make it very strict so when yeah. they learn they are very happy in continue they no parents push them they continue i am giving off late have been giving performances along with my students and i feel such a motivation is should be given by the teacher to the students so when they once they come they should start loving dance yeah. so i never scold them as a teacher yeah. i make them i make it more interesting yeah. and so they love to dance and they will they are also it's a creative art so yeah. they give their own ideas ma'am can i do this abhinaya so can i do this how can i do this ma'am how can i give this expression so i get inputs from them so i feel i am doing a small little part my students surely will never leave dance even though they will have their career that's what i want every dance performance i feel my uh, audience should feel yes there is something in dance which gives happiness yeah so if i can do something little i am passing on to my kids next generation my students so like this only our culture can uh, be uh, alive for the uh, year, future years to come otherwise everybody will take up a uh, job they are it's very convenient to forget uh, our art and culture if we don't continue who are going to continue yes and one more thing i don't make it and normally i'm saying the generation particularly dance is very expensive to learn and to give performance yeah it's really an expensive art and i don't find uh, um middle class or lower middle class can continue i am very thankful to god that they made me a ca and because of being a ca in the initial years yeah and even now i don't charge unless they give yeah, they whatever they give nominal i am accepting but i put my own i spend out of my pocket for a stage program whatever stage program, because the live orchestra is really because i cannot expect these people also can be charitable person so live the orchestra is expensive yeah a hall booking everything yes. i do and make it a big program so that uh, i invite people my friends my kids uh, uh, friends so that they know okay this is a art form and it yeah. is not expensive that's why my fees are very nominal compared to others because whatever nominal fees i collect if i make it free it will not have any value yes because right. the society in which i live they are higher middle class they can afford to pay nominal fees that yeah. nominal fees goes to again to the society yeah. for the education of the children so this way it's a vicious circle yeah that's really great to know ma'am is it yes pass ye me clearing ca is a great thing yeah you don't need percentage nobody asks percentage in yes. ca if you are ca you are great because it's one of the toughest exams to clear so yeah. the persons who become ca also should be tough they can't be like casual and they cannot become a like they can become a graduate but yeah. they cannot become a ca Yes, and right. it is the most dignified profession. Yes. And now, as you uh, you can see the statistics, women professionals are really less. Yes. Hard this is, ma'am. This is something very unfortunate. This is something not good. I believe that I don't know why. Uh, why people? I don't know why in India in our country people don't give preference to women their education. And one more. figure i found that there are many women in our country those who after clearing the ca exam they are not working i know many of my friend because of the circumstances they have around like they their family or something they're not working so this is also something very unfortunate first thing is that uh, uh, very few girls they manage to get the ca degree and after getting that ca degree 
very few are working so this is very unfortunate so that is uh, equal uh, equality should come and such a, after clearing ca exam not working is something really pathetic they should yes. because our knowledge is so uh, valuable yeah and uh, it should not be wasted resource it's being wasted yes so this that's is... why uh, uh, after becoming a ca i have always been in practice yeah and thanks to uh, my husband also he has allowed me to pursue my dance yeah and uh, both uh, even my son has been contributing to my dance performance in every way editing yeah. my videos wow that's great <laughs> and giving the background um, voice and okay. the music and all he has been, he has given in my okay. videos okay so i'm very happy yeah. um uh, such a see um, i chose one of the toughest course ca yes. and one of the toughest uh, classical dance art form is dance bharatanatyam yeah. yes so i like challenges wow. so i took both tough <laughs> Yeah. and i am continuing in both yes. yeah <laughs> i am very happy that yeah. uh, i am able to do something uh, from my dance because i am a dancer to ca profession yeah and i i uh, personally as a professional uh, i would like uh, uh, those who are watching this video to go through the ca motto which is there in the uh, in my website also so that okay. they understand the meaning instead of yes. without understanding they stand in the uh, yeah. meeting and seminars and conferences yeah it, i will share the link things. i will share the yes. link in description yes so that ca motto is uh, uh, understood when they uh, hear yeah when they hear in the meeting because it's it's not a song it is yeah uh, from the khatopanishad verse so this is my humble contribution in the history of ca institute i this is the first time a person has performed wow on the ca motto wow that's great <laughs> <laughs> so whenever uh, i am uh, um, told to perform i do the ca motto and ca emblem and i make a story small story out of ca motto and uh, ca emblem and navarasas in the life of a chartered accountant and it is uh, uh, very popular and they are very happily welcomed by professionals when they watch this uh, uh, we are, um, my thematic presentation and i think this has not been performed in front of a student yeah. i have performed in front of professional who have already become a ca okay so where i works. think students can relate the failures more yeah <laughs> ma'am one more question ma'am uh, there are two thing exist in our life first is something which is inside us which inspire us to work more and to achieve something in life and second thing exist around us so i believe there is a fight between inside and outside so uh, what message you want to convey them like how to overcome this outside circumstances they have to uh, to enrich themselves and to achieve their goal and vision which they have obviously if, if someone has studied so much if someone has become a chartered accountant obviously they must have a goal or vision in their life so uh, how they can overcome from this outside environment okay see my guiding force is god always i didn't okay. plan yeah. i to become a ca nor a dancer yeah like god like all the other things i feel it is zero yeah, yeah. god is one yeah so i have kept since my childhood yeah i am uh, 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 having a lot of devotion i pray to god so yeah. god is one for me so when yeah. i have kept god in the first position yeah. afterwards whatever comes is zero ca dance and so when you put zero yeah. after one you get one yeah. after that you you <laughs> yes. add zero as yeah. you add zeros you yeah. get more value yeah so i feel i have kept god and he has been yeah. my guiding force ma'am this I feel yeah that is why i really yeah. <laughs> uh, that is the supreme force has guided me i think yes in that yes. because i have got uh, yeah. like any uh, women chartered accountants even i have faced many problems yes. uh, many hurdles in my life yeah but every hurdles i have come up 
I have come forward. I have yeah. crossed because of the guiding for Supreme God because I have kept Him one. After that, C A dance, sub, sub, homemaker, mother, daughter, sub. I have role sub play kiya, lekin us ek pehle Bhagwan ko rakha. Yeah. Wow. Zero zero aagi. So that and continue hone. Isliye that is I don't want that. People should continue praying for one hour and hour. Just think yeah. about God. He is yeah. the person who is uh, supreme. So, Bhagwan ko maine pehle raka. Isliye to dono bangi. I am thankful to God. I am yeah. grateful to God. And uh, actually, I am performing even after the age. There, for me, age is a number. Yeah. Because I have given more performances after forty than before forty. Okay. Wow! <laughs> After the age of forty, I have performances. <laughs> That's great, ma'am. <laughs> so, ma'am, last question I want to ask you: uh, What message you wants to give our audience? Can you please repeat? Yeah, ma'am, I want to ask you. Uh, what message you want to give to the young generation, to all the people, to all professional colleagues, to our CA fraternity? To CA fraternity, I can just uh, um, be a... Uh, um, no, I cannot give advice to our CA fraternity. I can yeah. just welcome them uh, for a dance performance, which is relating to our uh, dance uh, CA because what whenever I perform in the CA Institute programs it is relating to our CA but what uh, humble advice I can give it to our CA students or our younger generation please do not uh, see a career is important education is important our parents give us education and then after uh, being educated you pursue your own career that is important but please, please uh, uh, continue any form of art form, anything, dance, music, yeah. something. Jo us mein ras hai. Yeah. CA, jo career hai, us yeah. sirf dry hai. Yes. Both dry hai. Us mein kuch ras nahi. Yeah. When you perform, do something in the art form, in yeah. a dance, music, or even playing violin, or even yeah. if you go for a uh, learning some game, Continue yeah. something. Yeah. So that you do it for yourself. Yes. So right. dance and CA is supplementary and complementary me for me, which make me complete. Yeah. And, and I can I can only uh, be complete with both. Okay. CA makes me very sharp because it's an intellect. I become an intellectual. But dance me abhinaya hai ras hai. Isliye dono mila ki. That is what Subhashini Giridhar is. Yeah. I can not be without a CA or a dance. Both makes me complete. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So pursuing something, that's what I, uh, the, my small advice to the younger generation. Yeah. Please don't continue only your career, something. Yeah. Do it for yourself, your happiness. Yes. And if you will love it, you will automatically get time. Yeah, mean. right, 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 ma'am. And thank it's, you so much, Meena, for my pleasure, giving me your time and interviewing me. I'm my, really thankful to you. Thank and you, thank you so much, Meena. Thank you so much, ma'am. <laughs>